Good evening. Welcome to Los Angeles First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. Follow us Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and uh, join our church every Sunday, 9 a.m. Wiley Chapel, 3401 West 3rd Street, Los Angeles, California. This is our journey of a lifetime. We want to ensure everyone in our flock uh, that they're reading their, the entire Bible in a, in a year. Uh, this is an encouragement for them. We call this Walk Through the Bible every midweek. And we're almost done from Genesis to Revelation. Revelation, uh, sinulat ni but John the Beloved. Ano yung outline natin? Tapos na tayo sa chapter 1, chapter 2, and 3. And then doon naman sa nagsimula tayo last week sa chapter 4 to 6 na things which shall be hereafter. Ngayong gabi, pag-uusapan natin ang chapter 7, 8, and 9. All right. Ay, natapos tayo na alala ko uh, bago natin simula ng chapter 7. Ano? Eh, sa chapter 6, pinag-usapan natin yung seven seals of revelation no tapos na, na nahinto tayo sa sixth seal ngayon pag-uusapan natin yung seven seal pero hindi pa okay sa chapter 8 pa yon kasi ang chapter 7 ay patungkol no ito ay interlude between do sa pang-anim at pit, pang pitong selyo or seal Baga, the opening of the seven seal ay matatagpuan nga natin sa chapter 8 no na of course, we'll begin judgment na talagang terrible at napaka-destructive. No? Sabi nga sa Matthew 24-22, eh, except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Wow, my goodness. Ganun yung destruction ng panahon na yun. Kasi the judgment of the tribulation will be suspended you know, for a period of, uh, a, a brief period siguro until these faithful ones have been sealed. So, sino ito yung faithful ones na to? Kasi may nabanggit, no? Kung baga, uh, magiging evangelist daw sila eh, for the rest of the time ng tribulation. no? So, ang tawag sa kanila, 144,000. Well, madaming religion na nagsabi sila daw yung 144,000. Pero the, the Bible is clear kasi dito. You know? If you will let the Bible speak, it pertains to sa 12 tribes of uh, Israel. No? Kung baga, ang 144,000 ay patungkol sa mga Hudyo. It is part of God's plan that uh, for the time being, ano yun, Israel has lost its identity. So, ito naman din ang panahon na kumbaga ipapakilala ng Panginoon kung sino talaga siya. Kasi alam naman natin na uh, kumbaga ang mga Hudyo, sa mga panahon ngayon, hindi naman nila talaga madidistinguish saan bang tribe ako galing. Pero siyempre, ang isa lang nakakaalam. Kasi God has a perfect record of the history, di ba? At uh, saka alam niya kung sino yung 12 tribes of Israel. Kaya this time, igagather niya. Kasi, alam Panginoon kasi, we need to understand, hindi pa siya tapos sa mga Hudyo. No? Uh, we need to understand na ang mga propeta ay Hudyo. Si Lord mismo ay Hudyo. Ang labindalawang disipulo, apostles, ay mga Hudyo. No? Kung baga, ang mga Hudyo ngayon, sa panahon natin ngayon, inanticipate pa rin nila yung coming of the Messiah. Which is na-miss na nila. Dumating na 2,000 years ago. Alam niyo, after the church is gone from the earth, I'm very, very sure that God will take the veil from the many eyes of the Jews at the embrace in si Jesus Christ as the true Messiah. No? So, somehow, yun ang matatagpuan natin sa chapter 7 na pwede natin i-connect sa sinabi ni Paul doon sa mga taga-Romans. No? May tanong kasi, masisave ba ang Israel? Sabi niya, magkakaroon ng spiritual restoration. No? Basahin natin. I don't want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers and sisters, so that you will not be conceited. A partial hardening has come upon Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And in this way, all Israel will be saved. As it is written, the Deliverer will come from Zion, 
he will turn godlessness away from Jacob. Mm. Diba? Very clear. Chapter 8, let's move on. Seventh seal. Ito na, pag-usapan na natin, nabitin natin, pitong selyo. No, buksan na natin. Alam niyo, the opening of the seventh seal ay na-record. Na-record sa chapter 8, verse 1. Okay? So, ito na yung tinatawag na rapture. Ayan, kung baga, familiar ka sigurado dyan. No? Kung baga, uh, it ushers in the seven trumpet judgments that introduce yung final drama. Hmm, climax. Pero intindi lang natin. Iba ang seven seals sa seven trumpets, sa seven uh, vials of wrath. Uh, kasi ang seven ang seven ang seven trumpets at seven uh, vials ay matatagpuan no doon sa seventh seal. Ang ibig sabihin, the seven trumpets do not follow the seals. They are part of the seventh seal. Alright? Itong seventh seal na to has 14 parts. Yung nga, yung first part, pitong trompeta at pitong vials of wrath. Okay. Sa, pag nyo mo na isipin yung seven vials of wrath, pag binuksan kasi natin yung seventh seal, yung selyo na to, binuksan na to, makikita natin dito yung pitong trompeta. Yun ang pag-usapan muna natin. Yung pitong trompeta. Okay. So binuksan na natin yung selyo sa pang pitong uh, sa ano nga doon sa parang uh, kanilang letters doon, yung parang libro nila. Ganyan ang itsura ng libro nila na eh. Sabi dito sa Revelation 8:1, when the lamb broke the seven seals, sino yung lamb? Ang Panginoong Hesus Kristo. There was silence in heaven for about half an hour, kalating oras, tumahimik. No, kumbaga uh, There is something. Bakit tumahimik? There is something na magaganap. At talagang, I mean, pagka tumahimik ka, ibig sabihin para medyo kamangha-mangha, medyo kagulat-gulat, medyo kabigla-bigla, para mga ganun. Buksan na natin. Uh, seven seals, tingnan natin, trumpet number one. Pagbukas sa pagbukas niya daw ng seven seal, nakita siya ng pitong anghel no, na which stood before God na nakatayo sa sarapan ng Panginoon. And to them were given seven trumpets. No, may, may tangan-tangan sila, binigay sa kanila na pitong trompeta. Ngayon, kada bubugahan nila, hihipan nila yung trompeta na yan. May nangyayari. Okay? Paano na pag binugahan na yung first trumpet? Pag-usapan natin, what happens when the first angel sounds his trumpet? Sabi sa verse 7 ng chapter 8, the first angel blew his trumpet. Ito na. And hail. Ooh. And fire, ooh, mixed with blood, may halong dugo, were hurled to the earth. So a third of the earth was burned up. And a third of the, of the trees were burned up. And all the green grass were burned up. Wow, 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 wow. So may hail and fire na may halong dugo na sumalpok doon sa mundo pagkatapos one third down ng earth. So ganito 'yan. Kung meron kang uh, uh, ano ba, tinapay, hatiin mo sa tatlo. Yung ikatlong bahagi nun, yun, yun nasunog. No? One third daw ng mga puno nasunog. One third daw ng mga green grass, ah. green grass nasunog. Wow, parang California fire, parang Australian fire, no? Nakita na ba na natin to Oo naman. Kami dito tuwing summer sa California na witness namin to Pero we're not talking about one-third. One-third ang laki nun. So ibig sabihin hindi pa nangyayari kasi one-third eh. Ang laki eh. One-third ng buong mundo. Masusunog. So this is about to happen. If this happens, it's a sign of a... Pag a part, part to ng signs of the times, no? Pero kung nangyayari na nakikita-kita mo na somehow you have may picture ka na ako. Grabe kasi dito sa California pag nagkaroon ng brush fire, grabe kawawa yung mga firemen, yung mga tao na sunugan ng bahay. Doon pa lang misery na, chaotic na. Eh paano pag one third na pinag-usapan? So kung nakakita ka na ng ganito sa Australia, dapat nare-remind na yung puso mo na things are about to end. 
At pag nangyari ito, ay magkakaroon na nga ang katapusan ng mundo. Oh, buksan na natin, Pastor, yung trumpet number two. When the second trumpet no, ay hinipan, makikita natin sa Revelations chapter 8, verses 8 to 9, the second angel blew his trumpet. And something like a great uh, mountain ablaze with fire was hurled into the sea. Ito particularly sa kanina sa lupa, ngayon sa dagat. So a third of the sea became blood. No? Puro dugo daw. One third ng mga karagatan. A third of the living creatures in the sea died. Yung mga isda, balihena, pagong, patay lahat. One third nito. And a third of the ships were destroyed. No, yung mga barko, uh, one third daw na numero ng barko, ang dami ng barko ngayon, ay wasak. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, di ba? Kumbaga, madaming nag interpret dito na maaaring, kumbaga, sabi nila, uh, yung sabi ni bang scholars, they believe na yung giant burning mountain daw na in verse 8, is a giant meteorite or possibly a well-placed nuclear missile aimed at a fleet of enemy ships. No? Or sabi, pwede rin daw mega tsunami na nagpabagsak sa one-third na mga barko sa buong mundo. Or pwede rin daw na, yun nga, meteorite na sumalpok at tumama sa kargatan kaya naging one-third ay kulay dugo. At dahil nga naging kulay dugo, dahil patay nga yung one-third ng mga sea creatures. I don't know. But this, hindi pa ito nangyayari. Pero nakakita na tayo ng picture nito. Madami naman Iran, North Korea, preparing for a certain nuclear warfare or whatever. Diba? So, I don't know. So, pero nakikita na natin ito. Ang dami natin, may mga pagkakataon sa inyo, sakita natin na matay mga sea creatures, di ba? So let's see. Pag binuksan o hinipan yung second trumpet. Okay, pag hinipan yung third trumpet, yung mga tubig daw eh magiging bitter. No? Ibig sabihin eh tubig na ano to, tubig tapang na na iniinom ng tao, hindi yung tubig alat, no? Kasi kanina yung sea, particularly yung karagatan, tubig alat 'yan ito, tubig tabang. Ito yung iniinom natin galing sa rivers, sa springs, magiging mapait. Ano ibig sabihin? No, what happens pag hinipan na tong trumpet na to? Ano mangyayari? Nako, makikilala natin dito si Wormwood. The third angel blew his uh, trumpet and a great star blazing like a torch. No? Nung pag-ihip ng anghel sa pangatlong trompeta, mayroong malaking star, great star blazing, big spin umaapoy like a torch, no? Fell from heaven. It fell on a third of the rivers and springs of water. Kanina yung sea, ngayon rivers and springs of water. Kung saan tayo kumukuha ng pang-inom. No? So anong mangyayari dito? Alam nyo, ang tawag sa pinomenan nito ay wormwood. No? Kasi ang tatamaan, yung iniinom natin tubig, magiging mapait, magiging bitter. Okay? So paano yun? Kasi alam nyo, ang wormwood is a translation of the Greek word absintos. No, uh, from which we get the English word absinthe. Okay? So, ang ibig sabihin, strong bitter herb. Ito ay tsura ng wormwood. Ayan. Strong bitter herb. No? So, what happens when the wormwood falls into the rivers? Yun nga. Ano mangyayari? Kapag kayo itong wormwood na to, yung great uh, star blazing like a torch, tumama dun sa rivers and spring natin. Di ba? A number of Bible scholars consider the term wormwood nga to be purely symbolic representation of the bitterness that will fill the earth during the troubled times. Ayan, madaming tao, lit- <laughs> hindi lang literal, <laughs> Metapo- metaphor siya, no? metaphor siya na, iba uso ngayon, uy, wag kang bitter. Ito, magiging bitter yung tao sa sobrang daming chaotic na mangyayari. Noting that the plant of which wormwood is named no, Artemisia absinthium or mugwort or Artemisia vulgaris is a known biblical metaphor nga for the things that is or that are bitter. Mapait. Ibig sabihin nito, mapait na pangyayari. Di ba? So, 
magiging bitter ang mga tao. Ayan na. Uh, sana tayo? Fourth trumpet na tayo. Buksan na natin. Okay. One third of sun, moon, and stars do not shine. Revelation 8.12. Fourth trumpet. Hinipan. Ano nangyari? Okay. The fourth angel blew his trumpet and one third of the sun was struck and one third of the moon and one third of the stars. So one third of their light might be darkened. Dumilim. And one third of the day might be kept from shining. And likewise, one third of the night. So in contrast to the first three tam- trumpet judgment na pinag-uusapan natin kanina that affected yung land, yung sea, at yung mga rivers and uh, springs. No? The fourth trumpet naman, ang naapektuhan nito yung sky. No? Kasi nga, dumilim. Yan. Sa nga tayo papasok ngayon. No? Sa... Okay, basahin lang natin yung binasa natin kanina. Chapter 8.12 Tungkol nga sa fourth trumpet, the fourth angel blew his trumpet and the third of the sun was struck, a third of the moon and the third of the stars. So the third of them were dark and dumilim. A third of the day was without light and also a third of the night. So matindi pa to sa DST. Okay, pasok tayo sa chapter 9. Tapos na tayo sa chapter uh, 7 and 8. Pasok tayo sa chapter 9. Dahil sa chapter 9, doon natin makikita ang fifth trumpet. Okay, so chapter 9, verse 1, the fifth trumpet, hinipan na, no? and uh, si John sees a star that has fallen from heaven. Okay, okay. John did not see the star fall. Okay ba yun? No, Ang nakita niya, fallen star. Hmm, ano ibig sabihin nun? Sabi nga, the verse should read, and I saw a star having fallen. Hindi siya nakakita ng falling star, kundi fallen star. Hmm. Kilala nyo na yan kung sino yung fallen star na yan. Masayin natin para mas malinaw. The fifth angel blew his trumpet and I saw a star, sabi ni John, had fallen from heaven to the earth. The key for the shaft to the abyss was given to him. Ang fallen star na binabanggit dito ay siyempre, sino pa? <laughs> yung kontrabida. na may hawak-hawak daw na susi, no? Susi sa saan? Sa abyss. Oh, ano ba yung abyss? Ang abyss sa Greek ay abyssos na nag-occur nga nine times translated. Ang ibig sabihin, bottomless pit. Walang katapusang lalim. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are told na ang fallen star na to ay binigyan no ng susi. sa bottomless pit or abyss sa Greek. No? Abyss is uh, looked upon as the darkness in which are imprisoned those fallen spirits who are reserved unto the day of judgment. So, doon sa mga tao na i-judge someday ay uh, dito mapupunta. Okay. When, sa, kasi kung titignan niya sa Luke 8.31, sabi dito, when Jesus met the gathering demoniac, the demons in the man cried out to Jesus that he would not command them go out into the deep. The word deep in the Greek is abyss or darkness. This abyss, apparently, a prison from which there is no release except by divine permission. So, anong, itong sa abyss na to, may mga creatures doon nga na anong gagawin nila sa abyss na to? Sabi sa Revelation 9.4, they were told not to harm the grass of the earth or any green plant or any tree but only those people who do not have God's seal on their foreheads. Nako, nako. Ha? <laughs> parang, <laughs> parang hirap naman na. <laughs> diba? Kasi, in, 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 in 9.11, chapter 9, verse 11, alam nyo, they are 
declared to have a king over them. Doon sa abyss, may, may hari. At nang tawag sa kanya doon ay si Abaddon or si no, Abaddon and Apollyon. Abaddon is in Hebrew uh, word na destruction at si Apollyon ang Greek word for destroyer. So, malinaw doon, sabi dito, o oh, sa mga creatures na to, huwag niyong i-harm yung grass, huwag niyong i-harm yung green plant, huwag niyong i-harm yung mga tree, huwag niyong sasaktan, pero pwede niyong saktan. Those who do not have God's seal on their foreheads. Oh my gosh. Oh, ang tawag dito, woe number one. <laughs> Ibig sabihin ng woe, eh, great sorrow or distress. Uh, matinding parusa ang uh, mangyayari dito sa lugar na to no kaya destroyer si Apollyon at uh, si Ab- Abaddon ibig sabihin ay destruction okay hinipan na at uh, basahin lang natin and they had a king over them which is the angel of the bottomless pit whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon ibig sabihin nga destruction but in the Greek tongue had his name Apollyon o ibig sabihin ay the destroyer revelation 9:11 oh kaya nga kinoconnect pa yan sa September 11 ng iba di ba pero ayun bottomless pit pag hinipan yung uh, trumpet number 5 and then sa bottomless pit na yun ay merong bow number 1 or sobrang pasakit or paghihirap or sorrow okay let's move on uh Trumpet number six. Okay, pag ginipan, ano mangyayari? 200 million man army, a third of mankind killed. Oh, tingnan natin, anong ibig sabihin? Alam niyo, pag ginipan to, no, six trumpet, no, na makikita natin sa chapter 9 verse 13, ang judgment ay patuloy lamang. At the opening of the fourth seal in Revelation 6.8, one-fourth of the world's population was destroyed. Remember, last week, pinag-usapan natin. One-fourth ng population. Now, pag nag-sound naman itong sixth trumpet sa seventh seal, one-third of the remaining three-fourths are killed. Okay. Kung merong sampung tao, okay, during the uh, During the opening noong fourth seal, last week pinag-usapan natin, di ba? Seven seals yan. Yung fourth seal, one-fourth nun patay. Ibig sabihin, one-fourth ng sampu is sabihin mong, uh, sabihin mong, about, sabihin mong ten and a half. Parang ganun. Ay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Two and a half. Two point five. One-fourth. Okay? So, 7.5 na lang yung natira na population. Okay? Sa 7.5 na yun, one-third pa nun, mamamatay. So, ibig sabihin, this adds up to about one-half of the population of the world being destroyed during the time ng sixth trumpet na nasa loob ng seventh seal. Nakuha natin. So, another war, alam niyo, sorrow. No? Mad, mad, madami, madami pa. I mean, mas madami pa kayo mababasa. Kulang lang tayo sa oras para explain ang gusto. Pero I encourage you, basahin niyo siya para mas maintindihan niyo. Paulit-ulit. No? At uh, allow the Holy Spirit na i-reveal sa inyo paano niyo ito makikita in the future. What does for an hour and a day and a month and a year seem to indicate? So in Revelations 9.15, So the four angels who were prepared for the hour, day, month, and year were released to kill a third of the human race. Wow. Alam nyo, many Bible students no, believe na ang chapter 9.17 to 19 ay description No, ni John ng isang senaryo ng isang modern warfare uh, he could be making the closest comparison he could think to the of, uh, of to describe yung mga modern warships or modern weapons di ba? anyway 
awesome picture pa rin to of powerful military force no capable of destroying na pwedeng nitong maging kalaban pwede ring horses lions and serpents all speak of deadly warfare tingnan natin revelations 9 chapter 17 to 19 this is how i saw the horses and their riders in the in the vision they had breastplates that were fiery red highest in blue and sulfur yellow the heads of the horses were like the heads of lions and from their mouths came fire smoke and sulfur oh yeah so and yung somehow pwede natin mapicture okay sabi dito a third of the human race was killed by these three plagues by the fire smoke sulfur that came from their mouths for the power of the horses is in their mouths and in their tails because their tails which resemble snakes have heads that inflict injury kaya sabi nung iba eh maaring ito ay sinari na modern warfare na ah, bombahan dito bombahan doon di ba baga modern weapons no powerful military force i don't know let's see kung ano mangyayari Ano naman nangyari na what happens as a result no, of these judgments na nakita natin sa trumpet number 6. Basahin natin. Revelations 9.20-21. Karugtong lang na. The remaining men and women who weren't killed by these weapons went on their merry way. They didn't change their way of life. They didn't quit worshiping demons. They didn't quit centering their lives around lumps of gold and silver and brass hunks of stone and wood that couldn't see or hear or move there wasn't a sign of a change of heart they plunged right on their murderous occult promiscuous and thieving ways seriously ang dami natin binanggit nun parang pag binabasa mo kikilabuta ka tatayo ang balahibo mo yung mga survivors in spite in spite nakita nila to wala pa rin repentance Alam niyo, somehow, ha, hindi ganun kagrabe yung sin- katulad sinasabi sa sa sa, 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 sa six trumpets na to. Sa anim na trumpet ang binanggit natin. At saka doon sa anim na seals na, na na binanggit natin last week. I mean, somehow, nakikita-kita na natin yung small scenario sa parehas. Pero sa panahon ngayon, walang repentance pa rin na maraming tao. Pero during these times, matindi na yung Yung ano eh, nangyari eh, di ba? Ito, remaining men and women who weren't killed by these weapons went on their merry way. Hindi man lang nagbago ng buhay, hindi man lang nag, nag-quit worshipping demons, hindi sila nag-quit centering their lives around lumps of gold and silver and brass. Patuloy pa sila naging selfish. Di ba? But there wasn't a sign of change of heart. Sa panahon ngayon, Marami pa rin walang repentance, walang sign of change of heart. Kung naalala nyo, no, uh, the hearts of people during that time to come will be exactly like the heart of Pharaoh when God sent the ten plagues on Egypt, hindi sila nagrepent. Ngayon, ang dami na dinadarasan sa buhay. May pandemic, may sunog, brush fire sa Australia, sa California, lindol na matitindi, matitinding baha, patayan dito, patayan dyan, gera. Then these are plagues. These are bitterness. These are woodworms. These are woes. Uh, these are uh, destructions. No? Pero, walang, pero para tayong si Pharaoh, eh, no? walang repentance. Alam niyo, this is like the world we live in today. A world that resists the one true God to the bitter end and prefers to make its own God so it can set up its own standards of behavior. Yun tayo eh. Gusto natin mag-set up tayo ng sarili nating standard ng behavior. Set up tayo ng sarili natin Jesus na kung kailan natin gustong puntahan Pupuntahan natin, ilawan natin, ilawan ng kandila, 
kausapin kung gusto natin kailang kausapin, iwan kung saan-saan lang, sariling standard natin, na love is universal, pwedeng lalaki sa lalaki, babae sa babae, spread love, we create our own standards. Andyan yung pwede natin patayin, kahit sino gusto natin patayin. Nag-set tayo ng sariling standard natin na hindi pa buhay ang isang uh, fetus sa loob ng katawan ng babae. Nag-set tayo ng sariling standard natin na kahit saan naman, pwede tayo magsimba. Nag-set tayo ng sariling standard natin na baka busy si Jesus, sananay na lang muna ako magdadasal. Madami tayong sineset na standard sa buhay natin. Kaya nang hindi naman kita papalitan, dadagdagan lang. Eh na magagawa ko, lalaki lang ako. We set up our own standards of behavior. We set up our own standards of behavior na kung ano yung pwedeng makapagpasaya sa atin. Hindi yung standard ng Panginoon. Kapatid, sa gabi na ito, gusto na palalanan, isa lang ang standard ng Panginoon. At yan ang salita ng Diyos. Kaya nga ina-encourage ko kayo, basahin niyo mabuti para tayo matuto at turuan ng Holy Spirit. Tandaan niyo, pag walang repentance, pagpatuloy tayo nag-set ng standard natin, malayo tayo sa Panginoon, wala rin forgiveness. Pag walang forgiveness, walang buhay na walang hanggan. Kapag walang buhay na walang hanggan, merong kamatayang walang hanggan. Importante na maintindihan natin lahat ito. Yan. Yan po. Ang anim na trompeta sa loob ng seventh seal. Ngayon, mabibitin na naman tayo. The kingdom of God is declared sa seventh seal. Pero pag-uusapan natin yan sa chapters 10 to 16, alas 7 ng gabi, next week, midweek, Facebook, Kids of Life. Kita-kits po tayo sa 6th of 7 episode ng ating uh, summary ng Book of Revelation. Marami pong salamat. Kami po ang Los Angeles First Filipino Church of the Nazarene. God bless you, kita-kits, and uh, I hope na marami po kayo natututunan. Salamat po. Bye!